Previously on Jake and Vanessa's Kitchen. Here we are in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit cramped, but uh, you're seeing practically the whole thing right this now. This is it. Too. It's kind of a smaller space right now. Is More the like word a, is the word upsetting appropriate? This one calls all of the way. It's kind of a, again a waste of space. Is it outside? Is it inside? It's slanted. It's sad looking. I, I bang my head on it. You want multiple people to be in there. Right now, it's it's kind of a one person zone. Hi guys, Jake and Vanessa here again, taking you through our IKEA and new Cabinet Doors Dream Kitchen. Okay, so we measured our kitchen. Uh, we measured wall to wall. We did ceiling to floor. And you also want to make a note of where uh, your plumbing's going to remain. So our sink is actually going to be in place of where the old sink was. Because right now this fridge has been here, which I feel like kind of would kill this area. But if we put the fridge here and just swapped it with the stove, so if this was like a, a cooktop area, then I feel like we don't even need to change this necessarily. Yeah. And the last thing we did was measure where our main window is in the kitchen. Uh, wrote down the dimensions, and then we're able to use that uh, for the IKEA planner. Okay, so if you hold that there, see what that would feel like if we were... That's good, <laughs> I feel like that's more space than we had before. Yeah, and then we can even dance through it. You could dance through it if you wanted to. I could, watch, I could walk shoulder to shoulder with you. And that's, and, the, and actually... that's the minimum length, so even if we want to do it a tiny bit more, we could. So we've measured our space, and now it's time to build our layout in the IKEA kitchen planner. This part is very fun. So the basic setup of the planner is room layout, cabinets and appliances, an option to change all at once, and the ability to view your item list. So we've got our room dimensions right here and we're gonna build our layout to get started. So we start with the room layout and shape. Now since our kitchen has that one wall that kind of juts out, we're gonna select the indent southeast corner and we can mock up our exact space to see what fits. So why don't we type in the measurements that we just took. Okay, and whoops, I made the room too big. So <laughs> we fix that by changing this top dimension. We can also add our big window on the sink wall into the design and we can space the sink and the dishwasher to that window. Ooh, and let's hit this lock button right here so that our room measurements don't get messed up while we're designing. Oh, that's Common a good mistakes. idea, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to accidentally move one of the walls because then our whole design would be wrong. Okay, so now we do the fun part of cabinets and appliances. So our window wall is pretty tight on space since we aren't moving any of the plumbing. So we're gonna work from the corner cabinets to figure out what fits with our sink and our dishwasher. Mmm, lots of cabinet options to choose from. Let's start with bases and corner cabinets. Okay, okay so it looks like we have two options of corner cabinets, a blind corner and a lazy Susan. So let's put them both in and see how they fill up the space. So the planner is very helpful. It's suggesting cabinet placement with the green highlight. Now a blind corner is a long cabinet that's 24 inches deep and 47 inches long and a Lazy Susan is more square, 38 by 38 with a bifold door. Okay, so next we're gonna input the specs of our appliances. Some of them we're keeping from our old kitchen and some of them we're ordering new. So let's size the fridge dishwasher and oven, and then we're gonna put them approximately where they could go. Oh yes, I like the fridge going on the other wall. Me too. That looks great. Fun, okay, what's next? Why don't we do the sink? We have room for a 36 inch sink. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be good, because then we can still wash and dry without cluttering the counters. I'm extremely excited about the sink, I'm just know, gonna say that. I know you love a farmhouse <laughs> sink. So I think we're almost <laughs> done the hard part. Uh, the corners, appliances, and sink can be kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. But now that we have all those in, we can add cabinets for the space we have left. So we ended up with a pull-out spice cabinet to the left of our stove and a 30-inch pot and pan stack in our peninsula. Hot tip, the planner always tries to put your cabinets against a wall, but we wanted this cabinet to be freestanding so that we could create our peninsula. So if you hit move and rotate in confined spaces, and then you're gonna hold the cabinet until it's highlighted in green, then you can just place it wherever you want. We realized after we placed the pot drawers that we had space for another base cabinet that you can access from the dining area. And since our kitchen is very small, we don't wanna waste a single inch of space. So we opted for a cabinet that has an outer door and inner drawers. 
So it goes with the cabinet panel beside it. And we left a bit of space for filler pieces. So the doors and the drawers can open without hitting each other, which is pretty important. <laughs> nice, okay, it's actually starting to look like a kitchen again. So with these base cabinets in, we're ready to move on to the uppers and then we're almost done. Why don't we put a deep cabinet over the fridge for bulkier things that we don't use as often? Right, we have the ceiling height for 40 inch uppers so we can use all of the space right up to the ceiling instead of having false fronts like our old kitchen. Mm. So here's a tip, for upper cabinets, it's recommended that they hang 18 to 20 inches above your countertops. So another hot tip is to leave about two inches of filler between a cabinet and a wall so the door can open properly. Remember our fun microwave that took up all of our counter space? I, I do remember. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a micro hood <laughs> so that we can streamline our microwave and our cooktop fan, and we can put that over the cooktop. There. Now we can nice. put in the rest of our uppers on this wall. And since it's a small space, we thought that glass doors on either side of the range hood would help keep this wall from feeling closed in, give it that breezier, more open air feel that we really like. Not to mention it'll give us a place to put all of our uh, very fancy glasses and cups that, and that we want to show off. And flutes, of course, yes. So we're gonna need cover panels where there's any exposed sides or backs of cabinets. So if you click on more with the cabinet selected, just pick the side of the cabinet that needs a cover panel. Now we're also going to use trim to fill in the space between the cabinets and the ceiling and light ballots to finish the look and hide that under cabinet lighting. You can change things all at once, things like handles, countertops, or even doors, but we don't need to change much since we'll be ordering the doors and panels from new. But why don't we try a different countertop just to see how this feature actually works. Looking good. Also, at any point in the process, you can check your item list for parts and for pricing. So now it's time to place our orders for both new and with IKEA. First, we're going to export this as a PDF with all design views so that new can create our quote. Then for IKEA, we're going to use the change all at once feature to take off the cabinet doors, drawer faces and panels while keeping the cabinet boxes and hardware. If you put in a cabinet but then want to change it, you can go to customize and select a different configuration without deleting the whole cabinet. Another discovery we made was that you can open items in the tool to see what's inside, kind of like a kitchen simulator. Mm -hmm. And there it is. We hope you learned something about designing your custom kitchen. If this video spoke to you, feel free to give us a like and let us know what spoke to you in the comments below.